Three things. Three things. This is reading coming from Luke chapter 11, verses 1 through 5. And it came to pass that as he was praying in a certain place, when he ceased, one of his disciples said unto him, Lord, teach us to pray. As John also taught his disciples, he said unto them, when you pray, say, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as it is in heaven, so in earth. Give us day by day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins. For we also forgive everyone that is indebted to us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And he said unto them, Which of you shall have a friend? So go unto him at midnight and say unto him, Friend, lend me three gold. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. 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 Praise God. Once again, for allowing us to be here. Thank you, praise God, for the light of this prayer. Thank you, praise God, for all the men's God standing on two pieces of wood, too. Thank you, praise God, for each one here tonight and those who come in the day. Thank you, praise God, for how you protected us throughout the day. And they can learn all the things that come upon us. Uh, thank you, praise God, for all the things. Thank you, praise God, for my mother baptism in Jesus Christ. And most of all, thank you, praise God, for keeping the good old man up. I pray that I swear to the Lord. The household of the one son of us. This is my dad's first name. This is Kevin. God is a good God. Yes, he is. Oh, God is a good God. Yes, he is. God is a good God.
save some of those things. Just to be away. It's truly a grace and mercy of yeah. the Lord has bringing us through. We are just um, the handmaid of God. Yeah. And uh, only His grace can really bring us through. Yeah. And uh, I just wanted to thank the church family for your prayers and support. We're always praying for my mom. Yeah. Yeah. And the Lord has heard us several times when we pray. Yeah. And my mom was recovered many, many, many times. Yeah. I just please the Lord to call her home. And she is peacefully resting with the Lord. Thank you. So thank you for praying for us. Keep yeah. our in your prayers. Last year, October the 9th, me and my sister on God protect us. Actually, let's give God all this. Yeah, thank you. I know truly someone that didn't make it out from the fight. So I'm all this and praise. I just can't sit down on God, on the brother to my own members. But how he protected me, not only me, but my sister, my mother, anybody else that was in the car accident, that he protected us when he gives us thanks and praise, knowing that he's our protector, our provider. But you've seen him pray for his upper hand. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Let's go down. Jesus is waiting to lift up back to your heart.
us in and keeping us and continuing to bless us. I thank God for this week of school, the week of school, half week of school, and him protecting me and keeping me. And I thank God for me showing my light at school, me being different, and me strong, being different than other other people. Uh, other people, the um, the coat, the middle of academy was everybody had to wear the pants and a uh, khaki pants and uh, the medical shirt and a jacket. And me, my mom was like, it would be good if you wore a, if you wore a, a skirt. And I was thinking already about wearing a skirt. And I was like, that's just confirmation. My mom told me to wear a skirt. And me being standing out from the rest of the people. So yeah. I wore the skirt to school and I felt, I felt good. But you know how you always have that feeling of like, I'm different. But I thank God for God giving me the strength to so be different than everybody else. And I thank God for my teacher. She um, she understand and tell me that I could wear it also, and I just thank God. When praises go up, let it come down. Praises go up.
alone, but God is still there. And I thank you, praise the Lord, for having a heart of mind. I want to continue crying unto the Lord because I do want to be saved. And I thank you, praise the Lord, tonight for Brother James for being in charge of praise and worship service. Thank you, praise the Lord, for Brother Breon. And the Lord, I'm continuing to bless and keep him. And uh, his uh, sibling, as they travel back to Crawfordville, that the Lord will be with them. Thank God for the mind he had to go to college and then still went home and came back to town. I said, God, be with him. Continue to encourage his heart and mind. Thank you, praise the Lord. Also for my brother, Bishop Potter, the Lord ever continue to bless and keep him. And the Lord ever continue to bless him. He's much older now, but the Lord ever bless and keep him. I didn't remember him when, he, when I was a young person being on the end this way, but I thank you, praise the Lord, for how the Lord do things that we don't see how it's going to come out. But I thank you, praise the Lord, for that tonight. Thank God for all the saints of God in the house of prayer tonight. Thank you, praise the Lord, for my brother. In the Lord as well as my son, Eddie, thank God for him. That the Lord will continue to bless and keep the Gama path, Gama family on the path. And the Lord, you know, so fit that his mother, it's time for her to go home to her grave. And I thank you, praise the Lord. The Lord will continue to bless and keep the family in whatever situation, whatever they're faced with, whatever test of sorrow that they're going through. That the Lord will continue to let them remember the good days. And I thank you, praise the Lord, for that tonight. As the saints of God, another words of prayer, I pray for my sister Sonia, that the Lord will continue to heal and restore her health. She came out of the hospital yesterday. Thank God for Sister Jerdy being right by our side and her daughter Maya. That the Lord will continue to bless us, that we'll know that we've got to serve the Lord. We've got to continue this holy highway regardless of what I'll be faced with. I thank God I can say tonight, I have the victory and the Lord is taking me through it all. Pray for me, saints, where I pray for you. Let me praise is to our God. Every word of worship is to our God.
pressing tonight, Lord, to the Again, I do give thanks unto the Lord for all of his goodness. I have so much to thank the Lord for. I thank him for the little small things that we may look over with time and time and give him thanks to him. I give thanks to the Lord for the things that I can see that are good for you. And even the things that we may consider bad. I thank him for that because you know, they work out for our good. And I just have to thank the Lord for those. I just give the Lord thanks for his just great goodness because God is a good God. I can say tonight, thanks, he's good to me. Still have breath in my body. Still have a mind to serve the Lord. And yet I'm striving on. I'm going to ask all the saints who know the words to pray. Pray for me and my family. time, hopefully God willing, that will be made announced tonight by the pastor or one of the brothers, hopefully before the service is ended. So if you're still in, five o'clock brothers, and is there a particular meeting day? Yes, so five o'clock, um, the saints will be departing on Saturday morning. 
the 70th church anniversary service on the 11th, 7.30 p.m., November 12th, 6.30 p.m., November 13th, 11 a.m. I would like to read uh, uh, something from the newsletter that was turned in um, on behalf of Sister Harriet Moore. I'm going to dedicate the first one to the adults and then the second uh, submission for the youth. First submission says, practice the pause. Pause before judging. Pause before assuming. Pause before accusing. Pause whenever you're about to react harshly and you'll avoid doing said things you are going to regret. Second submission dedicated to our youth. Your mind will always believe everything you tell it. Feed it hope. Feed it truth. Feed it with love. Thank you. The will be coming from 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verses chapter 9, verses 6 through 8. But this I say, he was so experienced, so he also strange. He was so bountifully, so he also bountifully. Every man according as he purposed it in his heart, to let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity. For God loveth the cheerful giver. And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that ye always having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work. As it is written, he has dispersed abroad, he has given to the poor his righteousness for many forever. Amen. Amen. Amen.
together again. And my thing on that was driven back for all of you. That you're present tonight. How the Lord has blessed you to be a civil together again. Just thank God. That was a really blessed me. You all was mine. That was a team of to the hill. From whence coming our help. We just thank God for being here. Lord's will tomorrow we're uh, for Saturday morning, those that are going south, uh, we we'll leave at five o'clock uh, for Lord's will, and there will be service here on Sunday. So we just want to everyone be aware of that. Those that are traveling, we look forward to leaving at five. Day, you good? You know, it's going to be fun. Thank God for it. Not, not going to be long tonight. Just want to go over a few things in the scripture. The word of God is always good. For us and good to us. In the name of God, Jesus Christ. Get the letters chapter of Luke, brother Rick. Amen. We just thank God for all things. Continue to pray much. Pray one for another. Continue to pray that God will for that will be done in our lives. And we thank God for prayer. Because the Lord said, get on all ways to pray and not to thank him. So we thank God for prayer and we pray that God will ever continue to bless us and keep us according to his will and that we will never be all that he's calling for.